Hello everyone, welcome to this ultra fast guide, which I'm hoping is a prequel to a full config video that I can do in the future. Currently, Battlefield 2042 doesn't offer a true config file, such as the ones present in previous titles. However, it does offer a player data file with some useful settings to change, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. Firstly, make sure your game is installed and you've played it at least once. Then, proceed to File Explorer and follow this path. Go to Documents, BF2042, Settings, and finally open Prof Save Underscore Profile with your preferred text editing program. I'll be using Notepad. Before we proceed, let's make a copy of this original file just in case we mess any settings up. To do this, all we have to do is click on the file, press Ctrl C, then place the file somewhere safe. I'll be putting it on my desktop with Ctrl V. I have to mention that due to this game's poor optimization and recent launch, these settings may have little or lots of effect on your gameplay and performance, so experiment and see what works best for you as I'm not going to cover every single setting and their effects. Now let's start editing some settings. The bulk of potential changes are located in the GST render section, which is all at the bottom of the file. Many of these options will have some notable effect in-game related to performance. So let's go over the main ones to adjust, starting with ambient occlusion. Set this to 0. Do this for anti-aliasing deferred 2, so 0. Then we can move down to a crucial one for modern hardware, DX12 enabled. Set this to 1 to force the game to run on DX12. Next, ensure your resolution hertz is at the hertz you plan to play the game on. I play at my highest available, which is 144. A big one for clarity is weapon DOF, which should be set to 0. And the final setting worth noting is shadow quality, which should be 0 also. Now a lot of these other lines are disabled from all low in-game settings, but if you see any different ones here and would like to try my settings, then make the adjustments and see if they take any effect. Once you're happy with the file, go to File, then Save, and close Notepad. You can now launch the game as you normally would, and hopefully you will see an improvement in performance or clarity. For me personally, stuttering was nearly entirely wiped out when I forced the game to run in DX12. I have to reiterate that all of these changes may have literally a no effect on your game's performance, or some settings may have a drastic effect on performance, but unfortunately this is the best we have available to us at this time. Let me know what you guys think by liking, disliking, or commenting down below. So that's it for today's video, I hope to see you guys for my next guide or tutorial for BF2042. Until then, I'll see you all on the battlefield.